Hi YouTube. Uh, today I'd like to start a new series. Uh, I'd like to go into detail of my uh, build. Um, the previous videos that I posted uh, were mainly an overview uh, of what I have. Uh, and now I would like to go into more detail uh, showing you how I did it, why I did it, uh, the materials that I used, uh, whatever I can remember, you know, I'm not going to remember everything. I didn't film my um, build. Um, I wasn't thinking remotely of posting things on YouTube. But um, now that I have, uh, I'm going to have to use uh, pictures and I'll comment on the pictures and, um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I'll, I'll try to make them short. Uh, but to the point. Um, so let me show you um, some of the materials that I well, use. Well, but before we start, let me just show you my handy dandy homemade uh, camera holder on <laughs> the walls. I have this three quarter inch uh, pink foam that I got, I believe was Home Depot. I could have used the Polizio uh, foam, but the thing with the Polizio foam, it doesn't bend, if you see there, it doesn't bend as well as this one. This one will bend slightly. Let's see if I can show it to you. See, this one will bend, will conform to the curvature of the walls since the walls of my van and most vans aren't perfectly straight unless you have a Sprinter or a, the new Ford Transit those are pretty much um, straight but the Chevy doesn't have them like that so I use three quarter inch foam on the walls uh, when he came to the ribs on the ceiling um, I wanted to insulate them but they only had these tiny little holes that you'll be seeing shortly and I just couldn't find anything that I could fit in there I thought of uh, uh, these uh, styrofoam peanuts these uh, little grains of styrofoam that you could I could probably sh shove in there or blow in there but the problem with those things is that they uh, they get statically charged and they start clinging to to the to the metal and they won't go where you want them to go and they just make a whole a whole mess so i, I didn't use that so what i ended up doing was um on the ceiling on the on the ribs i i used uh i used this and um i figured it was better than nothing uh on the floor I did use a uh, half inch Polizio foam and then on top of the floor what I did is I was looking for something and then I just found this I believe it was at um, Lowe's um, this is floor underlayment it's uh, insulated uh, or insulates a little bit. It's very thin. It's like less than a quarter of an inch but it, It's better than that. another thing I used was Reflectix and I tied everything up with this uh, metal uh, Tape So I started 
with bare walls, bare ceiling, and bare floor, except for the mat that I removed. I didn't want to deal with that. Then I applied Reflectix to the walls. My recommendation, if someone's about to do this, uh, leave an air gap between the Reflectix and the metal skin. Uh, use some pieces of foam to uh, achieve that. Otherwise, the Reflectix will not uh, uh, have the same effect. Uh, it needs an air gap. Then I went ahead and I started applying the uh, three-quarter foam to the ceiling and then the walls uh, using tape uh, to hold everything together to, and to uh, seal the seams. Uh, I utilize a utility knife to cut the foam. It cuts very easily and uh, I taped everything up and, um, and I shoved uh, on the wall ribs, um, there were openings big enough to shove pieces of foam inside, like you see here, and uh, Reflectix. I actually, I think I did the Reflectix first. I put a piece in there, and then uh, and then I put I cut little pieces, little blocks of foam. Um, I couldn't put a whole piece of foam, and then I pushed from the bottom up. Uh, the piece one at a time until it filled up and then I sealed the whole thing with tape and then I went over again uh, with a second layer of Reflectix uh, sealing everything up <clears throat> nice again I ordered two rolls of Thermotech uh, acoustic uh, and thermal barrier uh, but it wasn't enough to cover the whole floor so I just used it on uh, wheel wells uh, floor seams, uh, and then I went ahead and I put down the uh, Polizio foam, sealed everything up with tape, like you see here, and then I put a layer of the uh, underlayment, uh, quarter inch underlayment. I sealed everything up on tape, and then I put the floor on top of that. Um, And then uh, the bulkhead uh, compartment was also uh, insulated. It has uh, two layers of half inch foam, two layers of Reflectix. And uh, under doors, same thing. Uh, here you see the uh, passenger side panel. Uh, then on the ceiling uh, ribs, I used a small a piece of foam to uh, fill in the little channel. Then I cut a bigger piece to fit, fit over uh, the whole thing, uh, holding it with uh, tape. And then uh, I used the tape to seal everything up. Uh, and, uh, and that was pretty much it.